Hi, it's Johnny. We're back in the virtual uh, man's uh, new release uh, version 1.98 X version. Uh, this is a 64 gigabyte that uh, come with uh, mostly DOS game and PC port game. Uh, this is you have to cut. You have to watch my previous video to show you how to download all this get this working. So right now I'm testing some of the game that only uh, Raspberry Pi 4 will work. Uh, testing some of those uh, hard to emulate game on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, first I'm going to try is uh, Capcom SNK. Now Capcom SNK is a Dreamcast version because uh, that's what I have. He, does, he did not put any uh, RK version of it. I tried to put RK version on part 2. No, let me take that back. I think he does. I put the uh, RK version. Oh, uh, no, that's the Dreamcast still. I put the RK version of the part 2. And it doesn't seem to work. So this is Naomi. Capcom vs SNK. So he doesn't... I don't think he have an arcade version of it. Yeah, it's a Dreamcast. So let's go ahead and test the Dreamcast. I already test the, I already test the uh, the arcade for the Capcom vs SNK two. Uh, it didn't work because the the emulator that he have installed, it, I I can't get it to work. Uh, I think uh, Wolfstam. Maybe he, he he have more option in in RK and a different version of uh, May that actually some of the game that doesn't work here will work on his uh, image, but uh, Virtual Man uh, most of the game that uh, work and it worked very well, so I I I I decided to use his instead on this one on this build. For Raspberry Pi 4. Now I will be doing a demo pretty soon on the one that uh, Wolf Wolf Stan uh, he created one is a vertical one, and that one is actually very nice. I think that's the one of the best one of all for 128 gig. Uh, so I will go over that later on after this video. But let's go ahead and start the game. Now there's something. MK. There's something the game will play, but there's something that you, I need to go over so you guys would not run into this problem, uh, and also how to get out of the game because uh, the way he set it up. Now, if you if you press the select, if you have a habit of pressing the select button, just FYI to let you know, the select button actually mute the sound. See now I have sound, so if you press the select button again. It doesn't do nothing on the this uh, this version of uh, Virtual Man. Virtual Man actually uh, use that option as a mute uh, option. So you want to unmute it, okay? Now his A button and B button doesn't do anything. You have to press the R1, the bottom one. So let me see if I can zoom out more. And go bring it down. So it's a joystick. You have to press this button here to do this to enter select key. It's different than uh, because he he didn't set it up the way that you assume that he set it up the the standard way. But so you have to. Uh, So all your enter key will be under this button instead. I think this is my L1 is R1. So all the button is correct. It does work straight from the 
image download button. Okay, now to get out of the game, it's kind of weird. If you press select and start, you get this option. And this option doesn't really do anything for you. Like if you exit out. It takes you to the title screen. So you can really, this is what I did, I press enter. So you can't really do anything. So you have to use the keyboard. Okay. So I'm going to show you, you know, you're going to press the escape button to get to the main menu. Now you will have to set up an X out. You have to able to set up where you could access out the emulator. Uh, apparently he did not set it up. I don't know why. Uh, this is not his first image that he ever did. And I don't know why. I mean, let me take that back. So for Raspberry Pi 4, this is the second version that he released it for Raspberry Pi 4 and it's the same same problem. So you're going to press uh, the R button. No, not. I don't want to get out. Sorry. Not probably going to exit out. Uh, I don't want to exit out. I wanted to set up the... No, it's probably going to exit out now. I meant to go to input and we need to uh, change that from the input. Now my stupid keyboard and mouse is not working. Yeah, it's gonna exit out because I select, I choose exit out. All right, let's go to the second one. And the Capcom verse, they do play very well because it's a different Dreamcast. It's not using the Dreamcast, it's using the, uh, I forgot the name. It's a different, different uh, emulator. This one tend to be, it's a fix for the Dreamcast. It's a different uh, emulator that play very well. And hopefully in the future that they will release that for the, you know, the more like the lower end so we could download it. Because right now this one support Raspberry Pi, but I don't know they have, uh, they have one for the like classic mini or or the AIWA. Right. So if you want to exit out the game, you have to press escape. Okay. On your keyboard, press escape. Press this. My keyboard. Stuck. Press escape here to get to the main screen. It's taking a long time to get there. Okay. Now you're going to use your joystick and move to, to the top and then move it across to input. Then press the R1 on the top and then select the joystick, which is, this is my first joystick. So I'm going to press R1 again. All right, if you notice X is out of the emulator, it's none. It's set up. Nothing. It's not set up. Okay? So let me zoom back in there and so you can see better. So what we're going to do is set that up. So that way, at least when we play in the game, we could exit out the game and not get stuck with it and then looking for a keyboard. So it's not set up straight from the box where you could actually. So what I'm going to do is go down to the, you're going to go down all the way. You will go up to, the, go to the right. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to press the R button and it's going to ask you how you want to exit out. Okay. Normally when you exit out, you press escape, but that's a mute, mute button now. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of my buttons at the bottom, joystick 11. So I have a 12 button set up for my arcade, so I could use one of the extra button for access out. And escape to get to the menu, I do not use escape on my joystick. So I need to go, uh, I need to go up one, I'm not, get, I'm not getting that. Ah. Because it's exits out the screen because I, <laughs> because I, all right, let's go back in again and uh, let's set up the 
the main screen instead of escape we're going to set as something else so you probably want to set up that exits out of screen last because once you set up the exits out of the screen exits out the emulator it actually exits out the emulator so let it run a little bit and then we're going to press escape button again we're going to press escape get to the menu because if you press it too early it doesn't do nothing so you have to wait till the game started and you're going to press escape and it does take a while to load there you go okay so we're going to go back to to the top we're going to select input press r1 again press r1 all right so we're going to go down to this side so we're going to move this over to this side and move it down okay now we're going to select the main menu okay so i want to get to the main menu so i'm going to use the different button so press r1 first then press this button okay now whenever i press this button i'll get to the main screen quicker that's cool all right so now we can play the game without have to use the keyboard now okay so let me press B and press start. Press R1. And we're just gonna wait. Alright, press start button. Versus SNK2. Press R1, R1. Now they seem to have a safe stage here, so you still have to press the, the key that you assigned the, to the main menu. So you could press R1 to save it. Is it R1? I wonder what is a cheat mode. Okay, save.
I die. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can bring that back by... Okay, so I save it here. Now it have a low option before it doesn't. So I'm going to click low, R1. Okay, I'm back again. So the save mode does work on this emulator. special all right let's exit out again all right so that's how you do the dreamcast uh, I set it up where one of the button will just exit out and one of the button let me go to the main menu so I could do safe mode and stuff because it doesn't use the main safe mode option so you can just press star and X uh, R1 to say doesn't work that way now the arcade version this is the one I, I installed it it didn't work so just FYI it doesn't work on uh, I don't know why I think it's because the emulator option that that was given to, by virtual man it won't let me load this one all right so let's get out of here for and let's go to the some of the game that I that I have added which is the killer instant that's the one that a lot of people want to get it working and it's not working on Virtual Man. So I'm going to show you my version of it and how I got it working and also I will put that in the description so you could download my version. For some reason his ROM apparently even with uh, overclock it did not run very well. So I don't know why. So I went and replaced his with mine and let's go test it out real quick all right so we got killings instant this is the nintendo version the one i want is the arcade version uh, i do notice that the flavor does change whenever I don't know if because I replaced the game list XML, but my my favorite list is not the same like before. So I'm gonna go back to the arcade game again. And then look for it from here. Look for it from the Okay, section. All right. Okay, killer instant. Inst instant one. I'm using the final button now. I got to set up where you could press this. I got to set up to use May 2003. Okay, let me zoom in real quick. 2003, and this one worked well for version one. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch it. I want to show it to you so you know what I use to set it up. And it played very well. I was very impressed. Now I overclocked mine to a 2.1. Just so you know. So if you haven't seen that, uh, please go watch the, the first video I did. Uh, how to set it up. They talk about, uh, in the description you have the video number if you click on it, it will take you to overclock section and if you click on certain things it will take you to a certain section of the video so I try to add that in so that way you don't have to look at my long video you could you could skip to the part that you want to watch now this game you do have to turn the volume back up higher than normal I'm not good at this game, but I just want to demo it. 
Now this part for some reason is always sound like that. But the gameplay is very very good. I can't figure out what all this special move. So let's try the second one. Now the second one played pretty well too. I was very impressed at the second one. Now second one is used uh, is used in 2003 plus. And he played well so I, I left it like that. Most of the time, this one is always a lot slower. Okay, this one tend to be a lot slower. I'm changing the emulator to 2003, see if that make any better.
How did I do that? <laughs> there you go. I'm doing something better now. Not that great, but two, it's okay. One, I think it's better. Also, I added a golden, uh, golden axe. And also, sweet of age. Uh, also a uh, strider, strider 2 So I'm turn the down sound down Oh, I mean uh, S. All right, let's go strider 2 I also uh, download some Sonic game Sonic 1 and 2 that work well And strider 2 Strider. Also, I, I download the Star. That one is a 3D game, and it played very well here too. So see, those are the, some of the game that was missing from his list. Also, I download Sweet of Rage 1 and 2 that is not, is missing from Virtual Arcade. And this is a uh, Str Strider Part Two. Uh, I went and download the the video and this, and plus the artwork. 
So if you come in, that's the odd work I have. All right. And this one, I like this game, and it played well in arcade. So I'm very happy that it does work. And this one does come with the Marquia, so it's real cool. Marquia look real nice. Alright, beat him. So this game actually played well. I don't know why he didn't include it on his game. So that's the part one, it comes with this game. Alright, so uh Kelly Instant is, is okay, but if you if yours is worse than mine, what you see, then you could download from the, the description I'll put on the, the link. But yeah, really have some cool game. I just don't remember all the game. I test yeah, golden who's gonna test the golden? Let's go ahead and test the golden golden axe. I I put golden axe on two two different version of it, and also this one, the revenge of the death. And this one, I believe I'm using 2003. Yeah, 2003, man. And it worked good on this one. A known problem in this game. Didn't have that problem last time.
I can't get that po uh, potion. Might as well get out the, the thing and get the po potion at all. There you go, got the potion. So I guess I had to get out of the, get out of it to get the po potion. So that's pretty much it that I'm going to, uh, there is a one that I, that I like, but the, the track, the trackball doesn't work, but the game work over here on the, the wall of the bug. The, this one did, he does, he did have this game on the virtual man. I thought he did not, so I copied mine over, but he do have it. And he also has Super Mario. I'm not sure. Maybe I have to copy that one over here. But yeah, he does have this game. And I think he played well in uh, 2016. The May 2016. I think May 2016 and May 2003. It worked on either one. But I think the May 2016, the, the, the sound, it sound better. But it doesn't use the trackball. You only use the joystick. So if he was to die, it doesn't have a crazy sound. Now if you use May 2000, uh, I think a different May, May 2000, you will have, uh, if you die, you do have a, a real bad crazy sound. I'm dead. All right, that's it. That's pretty much. Uh, this arcade is ready to put all together and put it to my arcade room. I'm pretty much done with it. I'm happy with this. I will probably have to uh, set up the open board game and set up the DOS game and set up the Nintendo DS game. Now Dreamcast is already set up. But all those games you have to set it up, otherwise it's not going to work well. So just FYI, you have to set it up to make it work. I went and add this in here, it wasn't there, but it didn't do a good job separate them because it's only showing three games in Capcom. And there's more than three games on Capcom 3. Like Third Strike, Street Fighter Third Strike, Street Fighter Second Strike, it's not there. Uh, so if you go to the classic is correct it's 89 game and those game that uh, that I mentioned the Street Fighter is over here the Street Fighter third strike second strike is here but it doesn't show up on the other one see the second and third strike is here and then the new generation so it's, it's there it just for some reason it's not showing up over there so don't know and then they also have Street Fighter movie as well. Hey, I never tried that one. I wonder if that one work on the Neo Geo arcade stick. The Street Fighter, the movie. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.